Welcome to Bring a Game Presents The Unashamed Gamers, episode 12. Do you know, Ben, I've been thinking, do you know how celebrities have names for their fans? Like Hulk Hogan has the Hulkamaniacs. We, we should name our fans. Like what? Well, we're the Unashamed Gamers, so tug something. Oh, I don't like where this is going. The Tugaholics. Christ. Three, two, one, fight. <laughs> Welcome back to the Unashamed Game Ass Podcast with Ben and Paul. For all our Tuggerholics out there, we thought we'd talk our three favourite games. Yeah, because uh, Tugger Mania's running wild. <laughs> Tugger Mania. <laughs> so, yeah, Just well, one uh, really big right arm. <laughs> yeah. We're all there, brother. Yeah. <laughs> brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't talk about our three favourite games because this is our podcast and we do what yeah. we like. You ain't the boss of us! Yeah. One viewer. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, um, like, would you let us start? Yeah, um, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'm going to talk about The Witcher 3 as my first favourite game. Yeah, T- tell me why The Witcher 3 is your favourite game. Gwent. <laughs> you fucking, fucking love Gwent. That's it, that's you it, I'm done. fucking love Gwent. Next. T- tell people what Gwent is, you uh, well, don't know. Yeah, well, Gwent is in... Tell people what The Witcher 3 is. So. Yeah, well, The Witcher 3 is the... Witcher 3, you play the Witcher <laughs> for a third witch. third time. No, in all seriousness, this guy's been looking for his wife for a long ass time in the Witcher games. That's pretty much the space of the story. And this is my first Witcher game, I'll be honest. I didn't play the first or the second. Um, and I went Terrible in... Terrible Witcher. Probably. Yeah, yeah. I went in not knowing anything about the game other than it looked beautiful and you could hunt monsters like the Winchesters. Supernatural, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so... I didn't know anything about the game, but That's it is... the only thing you love more than Gwent is <laughs> yeah. Supernatural. <laughs> yeah, it's Supernatural, then Gwent. Yeah, then but your kids. <laughs> then your kids, yeah. Do I have kids? Oh, oh yeah, those things that stand yeah. in the corner where I came. Yeah, like get in the way of Gwent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. so I, 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 I went in not knowing exactly what, what The Witcher 3 was, or what The Witcher was, um, but it it's on my list because it's just an amazing game. Uh, it's made by CD Projekt Red, for the people who it don't know. It is gorgeous. It's an RPG it game, isn't it? It's a yeah. role-playing game, um... Where you're like a, a witcher, a witcher, which is like what an assassin kind it's, of. It's it, you're monster a mutated hunter. monster hunter that nobody really likes, but everybody has to rely on to kill yeah. monsters. It, that's yeah. pretty much it. And you're looking for your wife. I can't remember her name. Um, you, you have sex Why? with her on a unicorn. <laughs> um, stuffed unicorn. Unicorns aren't in this game because that'd be ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, this game has griffins in. Unicorns yeah. would fit in this. Yeah, universe, the no wood, bother. The wood. <laughs> But yeah, like I said, it's made by CD Projekt Red, and the scope of the game is, is ridiculous. I mean, there's parts of the map that I haven't been on yet, yeah, and you, you can get to places only by boat and stuff like that. And there's, there's monsters in the in the in the sea, which you can also swim in. Right. Uh, it's it is it's literally massive. But yeah, uh, all joking aside, I did love the game Gwent, which is an in-game card game. Yeah. And and, and all games across like RPGs, there's this in-game games, games yeah, and and, and yeah. they're all terrible, but. For me, Gwent, it was just brilliant. I was hooked from the very first yeah. time I played it. Um, you play Gwent, probably you put probably more hours into Gwent than you have the probably. Base game. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I'm one of the people who wants a, a Gwent like an game. actual realistic, a realistic, a real pack of that, yeah. cards that you can touch <laughs> oh. with your real physical hands. <laughs> well, not just in that. The real physical world, <laughs> yeah. unplugged from the Matrix. So. Yeah, I want those, but I also want a Gwent game, like just an arcade game of Gwent where you could play it online oh, against right, other, yeah. other players. Yeah, like Xbox so, Live. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, with this game. It's just so good. I mean, you got 21 free DLCs by CD Projekt Red, and the DLC isn't a cash in. It's like yeah. the DLC for 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 the um the Witcher Three. I can't remember the name of it now. It it's about 30 hours long. And yeah, it's huge. That's man. it's huge. And I mean, the game itself is about DLC 400 hours long. Like, I don't, I yeah. don't, like my contention with DLC isn't that. It shouldn't exist. It's just that if if you're gonna give us it, it should be worth while. Yeah, if I'm paying thirty quid, which is like or oh, fifteen quid, which is like halfway towards a full game, I should be getting yeah. half at least half of a full game. Well, you know what I mean? I didn't even pay that for this DLC. I paid seven ninety nine. Oh well, that's, that's, that's just yeah. blew me away. I thought it's gonna be twenty five quid. Seven eight. I don't know if it was on sale. Yeah. Because I didn't get it like the day it came out. But I, after I sunk some more hours into The Witcher three, I got it, and it was only seven ninety nine, and it was just ridiculous. Yeah. That price was amazing for for the DLC yeah. that you get. Like the value. Yeah. yeah. And I mean the graphics were. Well, they're just beautiful. Yeah, it really is. Uh, yeah. Re- really, really beautiful. The the amount of for a console game. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Like it is yeah. really good. Looking. And they're an indie indie game company. Do you know what I mean? That that, that that's yeah. what that selling point is. You know, they make the games they want to make. Yeah, they're not forced by anybody to make it. 
and know, cause they're, and they're, it shows they're, they're, they've showed a trailer for the new one. Is it Cyberpunk twenty seven seven or something like that? Something like that. Yeah, that, that looks good. But that's that's what's good about that that company, isn't it? Is the, the you can tell they really put the heart into. Yeah, the game. they did. I mean, and it is an incredibly detailed game. Yeah, the and detail it, in that game is insane. It is. Yeah, I mean, and coming from a person who had never played The Witcher. For it to be my favorite game, I mean, obviously it's won all these awards, yeah. But it's it not, has, yeah. it's not my favorite game for that. It's because I was interested. In, I think it has, yeah. One, yeah. one of the game BAFTAs, I think, for best game. I, yeah. I think it did, yeah. Which, Which I mean, is, that says yeah, it's it? well deserved. It really is. And I mean, realistic beard growth. You. The longer you play, the longer your beard grows. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Which is which is cool. You can both, have a, both in real life and yeah. Well, yeah, in real life, yeah. But I mean, in the game, you, you don't have you know, a woman just... going. You should shave that. It looks horrible. <laughs> you just because she's missing, and you've got to find her. But in real yeah. life, in real my life, girlfriend, your girlfriend isn't missing, and she's like <laughs> telling you your beard looks shit. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. So um, I mean that that's that's not pretty my much. girlfriend. No, I've got no. a sweet beard. Like yeah. That. Oh, shut up, man. <laughs> I've got a beard. I vape. I'm a vegan. <laughs> You're none of those vegan. things, <laughs> but but it's just on par with those. You know what I mean? You'll start minding someone in a urinal. Who vape like <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't. I don't mind that people vape. It's just when people talk about it. Yeah, like it's like that. Like it's yeah. We're I'll, getting I'll like. I like the post about it. Yeah, the post about I vape. Do you vape? Yeah, well, if you don't vape, then you're not my friend. Unfriended. You you just did me a favor. You but just yeah, seven hit on the vape. Yeah. So. <coughs> so video games. Yeah, video games. Yeah. So I mean, this the the scale of this game is fantastic. I mean, yeah. the stuff I still haven't seen. There's funny bits in it. There's some really brutal things. There's. There's horse armor. What? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it's free. <laughs> just you know, exactly. just sticking that out there, Bethesda. I, I like that your horse is your horse. Like yeah, it's Roach, and it's your horse. It's well, like there's actually personality. To yeah, that, you know? um, every horse is hard. That's died has been called Roach as well. So it's not the same horse from the first two games. Right. It's every time he gets a horse, he just calls it Roach. <laughs> right. So so he's had he's probably had about a hundred Roaches, <laughs> but th- this is his Roach a- again. But. Yeah, he, he calls it Roach. But that's another thing I love about the game. He just he's, he's always got a horse called Roach. Yeah. It's never going to change. And I mean, I'm assuming there's going to be a fourth one. I haven't finished the game yet. Mm-hmm. But I mean, obviously, with the popularity of it on, on console, it, yeah. it, it's... I it, think it definitely will. I just think yeah. it'll definitely be it's years away. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, there's a new DLC coming in June, apparently, Blood and Wine, it's right. called. And this is an even bigger DLC. It, 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 it's going to have like 60, 70 hours of gameplay wow. and stuff like that. And I mean, I've barely touched the DLC for the first the yeah. first DLC out. I've barely touched it because you've got to get level 30. And obviously there's monsters in the game that are higher level than you. Yeah. But you're free to roam the whole island, the whole world. Yeah, yeah. But you, you kind, kind of like of, fall out. And yeah, but you can come up scary. against a level 60 um, griffin that'll hit you once and it'll kill you. Yeah. It'll just wipe you out because yeah. you haven't prepared enough. And that's another thing. You've got to prepare for fights. You've got potions and mm-hmm. health potions. You can stick like gels on your oils, sorry, yeah. on your sword. Yeah. That's what I liked about about the game. Like, when, well, you mentioned it earlier on about like how they're a monster hunter, a bit like supernatural. Yeah. It it, it actually had that kind of hunter vibe to it, where it's yeah. kind of like research. You're, and you're researching the monster. Sandy you're tra- you're tracking down. <laughs> yeah. You're tracking down where it is. You're finding what its weaknesses are. Yeah. And then you prepare. To like obviously take advantage of those weaknesses and then you go and fight them. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. Well, it's it's not just like show up and fight. No, no, you're it's high not. Enough level. You've it's got like, to be smart. No, no, enough. You, like the only way you're gonna kill this is if like you say you rub this oil on your sword. Yeah, you, yeah. It, well, it is because I mean I turned up these like explosives or. Yeah, the, the first thing I remember killing, other than the tutorial, was was a um a wraith. It was a woman yeah, who was yeah. dead and. I didn't have a clue what I was doing, it, and I was the, about the same level, but sh- I couldn't hit her. I, my yeah. sword was just going through. You've got to use your magic and your oils to 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 like. I think you've got to rub silver oil or something on yeah. on your sword, and that's the only way you can do damage yeah. to it. And you've got like a, I think it's a yarden sign or something, which traps it, kind of like a yeah. devil's trap and supernatural. Yeah. And you've that's the only way that you can do damage to it. And Obviously, it pisses off that I died, and I was thinking, "Oh, what's going on?" But when I figured it out, when I did the research, yeah, in which in game it tells you, do you know what I mean? You oh, don't yeah. have to go on to like Google to find it. Yeah. In game, it'll tell you. You've just yeah. got to pay attention, and that's again the, the detail, the, the attention to detail in this game is fantastic, and that's why for me it it gets my number one spot, on my favorite games list. Fair one. I mean, m- mine's not gonna be as in depth as that. <laughs> mine's, mine's Dead Rising one. Well, that's an excellent game. I love Dead Rising. Love You're in a mall killing zombies. Yeah. What's not? Look. I mean, that was the reason I bought a 360. I mean, Same. I, we talk about zombies all the time because we're yeah. you know, huge zombie buffs. Yeah. But, like, we're, we're, obviously, we talked about in the last episode how I was super excited for Seven Days to Die. 
But yeah. for full seven days to die, my dream game was just was yeah. Dawn of the Dead. The game was, yeah. you know what I mean? Zombies in a mall. It was zombies yeah. in a mall. You know what I mean? And we got that. And we, we got, got that. that. And it was, it's, it's just amazing. It's it was. Just like, it's everything I wanted and stuff I didn't even know I wanted. You know what yeah. I mean? Because it's so ridiculous at the same time because it's so Japanese. And yeah. So random <clears> as well, and I, lo- I love the idea, like you say, you are this uh, reporter going in. Yeah. To this closed off Frank. town. Frank West, yeah. Frank West, that's going it, yeah. this closed off town to find out what's going on. And even like the intro mission where like, you're, on the helicopter. you're on a helicopter and you're taking pictures and that was brilliant. Like you're taking pictures of the city because you don't actually know what's going on. So obviously you're like seeing the first bits of zombie outbreaks. So you're seeing like zombies falling off roofs. Yeah, and yeah, you're... People getting trapped. That's and so good, man. Like cars getting flipped over and yeah. you stand on top of a car like getting dragged down trying to hit them with a baseball bat and you're like, oh, and you're taking pictures. Yeah, I remember and, and that, yeah. It's, it's great, you know what I mean? And then you, you, you're dropped in and all of a sudden you've got like this this you've got this whole mall to yeah. roam around and what I loved more about it was although the zombies were an enemy they were kind of secondary because the real villains in it were people yeah. so the, the bosses that you fought were people who went crazy like yeah. and they all went crazy for their own reasons so it was like yeah. either they were crazy over like losing someone or they were crazy because like shit had hit the fan yeah. or they were just crazy on power because yeah. they knew that they could get away with anything now and it's yeah. just great and, and just the sheer amount of stuff you could do you know what I mean like, I mean this was before open world games were everywhere. Yeah, it like, was. I mean, yeah. at the time, I mean, the only open world game that was really big at the time was probably like the Grand Theft Auto, like San Andreas and things like that. So it, it was amazing. You know yeah, I mean? like, there, was, there was nothing like it. Um, I mean, like, th- there was a, a bare survival in it, you know. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't oh, super hard to survive, no, really. No, no. Like, obviously, you could eat stuff, and like uh, there was a proper survival mode in it. But, yeah. It uh, was like, say how many days you could survive. It yeah. wasn't. It wasn't like you had to eat and drink. Yeah. If you didn't drink, you would die of thirst or anything like that. But what I liked is you had like the incremental um, way of leveling up. Um, so if you died, it was like it was like uh, it was a perma death. Yeah. Like, you could go back to your last save point, but it was kind of like a perma death. But you would just restart the game. With that level, though. With that yeah. level, and yeah. then you would just keep going until you hit the higher level, and then it was much easier to complete it the was, missions. Yeah. Like the best thing for me as well, I think it was level fifty once, which was the highest level. Yeah. Once you got that, you could actually walk like Do the a zombie. zombie walk. But it meant that the zombies like thought you were a zombie, so yeah. you just walk amongst <laughs> the zombies. It was brilliant. I have integrated myself with the yeah. zombies day seven. And I mean, <laughs> anyone who knows us knows that you know um, our favorite thing about Dead Rising is that you can just dress up in anything you yeah, want. Yeah, you can. Yeah, and just all... go into any shop. You know, women's clothes, whatever you like, yeah. whatever your kink is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's why I bought the game. Yeah, yeah. I'm the same. I, I bought the game. Um, I bought the Xbox 360 because of the advertisements yeah. of that game. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I would have got an Xbox 360 yeah. if it I mean, wasn't it came for that. out in September 2006, and that's... Christ, that's a long time ago. Yeah, and that's the reason I bought an Xbox yeah. Yeah, same. 360. Yeah. Like, I mean, I would have bought one eventually. Everyone bought an Xbox 360. Yeah, I mean, but... That's, I mean, I was uh, before that. I had the Xbox, but so I was going. Yeah. I was going to get the the PlayStation. Yeah. Um, but then obviously there was an advertisement for that game, and I, obviously yeah. I'm a Dawn of the Dead fan, the original, and well, even the remake. Yeah. And I just thought you get to do that. You get to live that out. Yeah. And I mean, the psychopaths were good. You had like the clown. I was called Adam, I think, oh, and he had God. the two chainsaws. Yeah, was he was that it? And the two mini chainsaws. Yeah. Was a nightmare. Just, but, but it was cool because once you killed him, you got those mini chainsaws. Yeah. It was. That, that was brilliant. I, I, I did like love the, that game. Um, it was like the Vietnam vet who was in the um, DIY store. Yeah, I only fought him once because it wasn't a, a proper mission, was yeah, it? It was, it was just optional, a side. Yeah. It was not. So I only ever fought him once. But he was really good. Like he would disappear in the vents yeah, and then like reappear. And, and yeah, and pop out. And yeah, it was that was the thing as well. Is the the bosses that all had their own little patterns and like different ways. I mean, there was the one guy who had the shopping cart. He was in like the supermarket, and he had a shopping trolley with like loads of like knives sticking out of it and things like that. And he would run at you with it. Yeah. So the best way to do that was you would like climb over shelves to get behind him and things like that. There was yeah. actually like a level of <laughs> tactics to fight each character. Yeah. Which was, was different. It was different each time. Yeah. Definitely. And like to the scope of it and the weapons were ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> and it was glorious. Alan. It was hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I mean, obviously in the second one you had like the customization for your weapons and stuff. Yeah. But I in the first one I didn't think it needed that. I was yeah. just enjoying like. I think the thing with the second one is because you with a lot, a lot of games you've already established your audience yeah so now you can play with it you've just got to make but it but what I like is like with, with like you say the very first Dead Rising there was no expectation it was just this yeah. is what the game is like take it or leave it and it was just amazing I just remember like literally getting the game and I think I got my first like big TV like yeah. I say big TV it was like 32 inch or something yeah um, and big for then though. yeah and yeah. I, got, I got that and I got like me 360 and like I just remember like going into you could go into the CD there was loads of weapons that did no damage to the zombies 
you could just pick them up because they were there. Yeah. Because if like you were fish. there in real life, you could just pick it up. Yeah. You? And you could like pick up a stack of CDs and like frisbee them, like, kind of <laughs> Shaun of the Dead style, like yeah. they do with like yeah. the LPs. Shaw Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was just like just stuff like that it was just hilarious. Or, like you could get a bowling ball and you would literally like throw it like you were yeah. throwing it down an aisle, and if you hit a bunch of zombies, it would make like the noise yeah, of like yeah. pins going down an alley. Was... Yeah. And you could stick Lego heads on there, zombies' yeah. heads and stuff. It was Cones. a fun game. Yeah. yeah. It was it was brilliant. I I did love that I game. Mean, I think at the time I actually worked in a cinema, and in the game there was a cinema. So I had hours of fun just like mashing people up in the cinema. Yeah. Like, just, just, get... just pretending they were like really yeah, annoying yeah. customers and like throwing the till at yeah. people and stuff like that. <laughs> yes, the, the, the food is expensive, but shut up and eat it. Yeah. <laughs> or taste my sword. <laughs> yeah. Either don't pay the price or get a till in the face. There's your yeah. two options. You know what I mean? <laughs> till to the face. Plus, like I said, the, the more you leveled up as well, you got like crazy moves. So those are kind of like wrestling moves where you yeah. can, like super like yeah. zombies and things my, like that. My favourite was one well, where you can like rip that spleen out. <laughs> yeah. I that love like that. Really hard. You literally punch through that stomach and yeah. like pull all their guts out. <laughs> yeah. You could also like, get a backflip like rainbow kick but it would kick the zombies head off yeah yeah that was class which was just, yeah. it was just just the sheer scope of that game i loved and I, it was like you say it was everything i'd wanted in a zombie game at that point yeah and it'll always hold fun memories of it like i, I could go back and play that now and i'd still be thoroughly happy yeah yeah you know i mean the it's same like, it's still a great game like it's still it's still the best dead rising for me personally yeah like, it's better definitely. than everything else it is i mean you got co-op in the, in the, the later versions and yeah. it was fun just to mess about with your friends but it was that the yeah. whole appeal of it was in a mall yeah. and it was like our dream I mean, come when we, true. Whenever we talk, we talk about zombie games, and we're like saying, "Oh, like I just want this, and I want this game." Or, or like we talk about State of the Key, going, "Oh, I wish State of the Key was co-op." Yeah. But I remember playing Dead Rising, thinking, "All I want is this game co-op." And obviously, the, they made the sequel, and that was co-op. But I still would have preferred Dead Rising One just to yeah. be co-op. You know what I mean? Yeah. Dead Rising One co-op would have been amazing. It would have. Like yeah, it's just an authority awesome game. Yeah. It, Plus, it, it was like I, I was so into that game as well. Like I was reading about it online a lot, and then. Like, there was loads of, like, hidden things as well. Like, you know what I mean? Like, weapons that you could only get from certain places. Like, there was, like, a katana that you could only get if it was, like, you found it on the top of an awning outside oh, of yeah, a certain coffee right, yeah. shop and things yeah. like that. Yeah. Whereas in the second and third one, there was just everywhere. But yeah, in this one, it felt better when you, yeah. you like, found it. Like, so, like, you know what I mean? Like, there was only, like, one machete in the whole yeah. game and things yeah. like that. And you got a sword from, like, a cult leader or something yeah. like that. Yeah. You had to kill him to get that sword. But when you got it, it was cool. You, yeah. you had that sword. Yeah, and you could literally cut a zombie split right down yeah, the middle. Yeah, down the middle. It was just amazing. Yeah, it was... Oh, I loved that yeah. game, man. It was, it was really I mean, that, that amount of hours I must have put into that game. <laughs> yeah, that same, same. Ridiculous. And I understand why that's in in, <laughs> yeah. in your top three games. I yeah. really do. It's and fantastic. obviously, that's Frank West, the guy, the guy who's in it. Obviously, anyone who likes the series know that he's obviously got his two sins, which is I've covered wars, you know. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> the voice acting was very like it's it's from Capcom, so obviously it's Resident Evil kind of esque, where it's like cheesy. Yeah, cheesy. You know I mean? it was before their voice acting got better. Yeah. I still don't think that voice acting's perfect. Like no, it's not. Even in Resident Evil Six, it's better, but it's still not. Yeah, Mr. President. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And he's yeah. the other one which where he says fantastic. He goes fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, I I liked it because he looks a bit like Dan Aykroyd from Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> like I I like that weird, protagonist. Cause, um, if you if you actually search for the very first Dead Rising trailer, they obviously changed the way he looked. Did they? Oh, I'm gonna have to search. Uh, I didn't even you, know if that. You actually, the very first the very first trailer. Um, he looks different, like facially. Yeah. He looks even more like that. Like, Does he? <laughs> and also, like, um, like you know, like the um, the interface where it like tells you what your health bar and everything is. Yeah. That's different to what it ended up like in the main right. game as well. Like they must have obviously changed it, you know, like a few months before they released it. Right. Oh well, I'm, I'm I don't know why they changed his face, but yeah, he he looks totally different. So he looked even more like Dan Aykroyd. Yeah. Maybe maybe Dan Aykroyd was like, I'm not having this. I'm not yeah, doing the voice. You can't look like me. Yeah. They didn't want his likeness. You know, yeah. Like, well, that, unless that. Aykroyd. Yeah. Because that's a term. <laughs> that is a term now. Yeah. That that's cool, man. That that's really cool. So what would uh, your second choice of well games? well. I don't know if, if, <laughs> if the Tuggerholics know this, but I'm a huge cowboy fan. That's not catching on. <laughs> it's catching on. It is. It would, anybody will get a comment saying, yeah, I'm a Tuggerholic, but it'll be for different reasons. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just some pervert who yeah. was just searching that came across. Yeah. Came across wasn't a good choice of words, was it? No. Yeah. Well, so, what's your second choice? So my second choice is because um, I love cowboys, um, cowboy movies, and I would like a yeah. pair of cowboys. Yeah. I, I would like a cowboy 
heart and cowboy boots. It's Red you Dead love Redemption. Cowboy boots, don't yeah. you? Yeah, I, I would. I would love some cowboy boots with the spurs and everything. <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't <laughs> walk around the street. Just assless. How are they, partner? Yeah, assless chaps. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it, that's in one of my favorite gate. What? what? <laughs> that, that's <laughs> my online handle. Yeah, hey, I'm assless chaps. Assless 69. chaps. <laughs> <laughs> it's Red Dead Redemption. Um, Incredible ob- game. Yeah, obviously made by a rock star. Big open world. You get to be a cowboy. Yeah. So what's your game? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, it's amazing, John Marsden. Yeah, I love John. I, I looked Such up the um character. the voice actor because I thought it would have been someone who did like westerns and like a, not Clint Eastwood but like Clint Eastwood yeah, yeah. type, and it's not like the guy's barely worked since. Right. Right, which is a shame because John Marsden's voice actor was fantastic. Superb. Like, I, I mean, love that's that's the thing with Rockstar. Rockstar, like the quality with Rockstar is always amazing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I mean, don't get, us wrong, yeah, don't get us wrong, I hate GTA Online. Yeah, question. yeah. But, but, you know, up, up until that point, it's always been like, but even still, that voice actor is still superb. They get yeah. really talented actors. Yeah, definitely. And the cutscenes are hilarious. And always really well written. Always funny. And like you say, Red Dead Redemption is an absolute revelation of a game. I mean, it is. The best way to describe it is GTA, but. Cowboys, cowboys but yeah. but that that just undersells it, it, it is it, it is it, it isn't at all i mean for me obviously i like a game where you just switch your brain off and you can shoot stuff and you can you can't do that to a certain degree, mm-hmm. certain degree but the story i thought was fantastic like i felt the guy's pain mm-hmm. and i mean spoiler alert when he died i was literally shocked yeah, because i didn't I, see that coming I, I tried that mission again because i thought oh my god yeah, is this is this unlockable or or is it you know this is the yeah. ending and i was devastated when he died because yeah. i, I loved that guy i tried it about six times yeah. because like the two, the two main um, antagonists, like the two other uh, the, marshals, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, like I would, I, I was like, eh, well, every time I, I shoot them, like I definitely kill these yeah. guys. But then they went in the cutscene. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, eh, but I've definitely killed them. Like, yeah. That devastated me. Yeah, and I was definitely... Like I didn't really enjoy the fact that you had to play as his son afterwards. Yeah. Like I didn't like that. I mean, I that's fair enough. Clever. You could continue it, and you did get revenge for your father. Yeah. But again, I would have much preferred John Marston to to still be alive and me to be him. I mean, you yeah. had like. You had unlockable outfits, but there was just this one outfit yeah. where you had a long duster jacket on, and I always wore that yeah, all the time. Just it amazing. was so bad. I like that, and I like the uh, poncho. Yeah, the poncho I, was awesome. I, I think I, I had the poncho on for for a good like th- three hours, but once I got oh, the the duster, um, yeah. the duster jacket, that's all I wore. Yeah. But I, that's I, the thing as well is that game set up so much for like what's in which is what's considered standard in like the GTA universe, like yeah. Um, like the random events, it was the first game to have yeah, the random I events the where random you're just events. like walking through and like just you know like on GTA now it's it's someone gets robbed and you have a choice yeah. to like. Well, there is those random events like where a woman's on a stagecoach and she's been robbed and stuff like that. But there's also the ones where a woman stand on the like the side of the dirt road yeah. and she's screaming help, and then someone steals your horse and stuff yeah. and that. like that. I just love that. To help her and like two bandits yeah. come out. And... Yeah. But um, what I loved is it was is it called Dead Eye. Yeah, the, yeah, the like, way you slow down you time slow down and you can time aim. And could shoot them, yeah, you, they would just come over, just dead eye, and just be like headshot. Yeah, headshot, headshot, <laughs> headshot. Yeah, and you could, and I love the fact that you could do the jewels. Yeah, um, people the could call you out on a so jewel. Cool, yeah. yeah, but you didn't have to kill him. You could just shoot that hat off, and then yeah. shit that pants, and then the jewel would end. I love that. That I always aimed to go for that, <laughs> yeah. where you'd shoot that hat off because yeah. it just looked so Sometimes cool. You'd miss and hit them in the head. Before. Yeah, but still, I mean, the, the hat would that come off after I stood on them. I fucking loved on that game was the headshots because if you hit someone like in the face. Like a flap of yeah, like sinew and skin would burst out the back of the head. Yeah, yeah, it was it was fantastic. Plus, I mean, it was using the um like the Euphoria engine, which is like their physics engine for falling. Yeah. So every time you shot someone, they fell really naturally. And yeah. It looked awesome. Like you, like I remember like vividly going into a house one time, shooting a bunch of guys, and, like opening the last door and shooting a guy, and he like fell onto the bed, and it really looked like he yeah. fell onto the bed like naturally. Like how did they go from that, which was amazing, to Grand Theft Auto Four? Because when he fell over, he fell over yeah. for a good five minutes. <laughs> yeah. You were like. Oh, oh no! I am falling, yeah. and then you're like, "Well, I'm gonna make a cup of tea then." I know, because because it, it was, was so bad for online as well. Yeah. Because it would take you like ten seconds to get back up. You'd always be killed yeah. before you stood back yeah. up. And I mean, obviously, Red Dead Redemption had online. Yeah. The one thing I didn't like about online is you couldn't lasso the other players. Yeah. Like you could lasso people in the game. Yeah. But you couldn't do it online. I would love to have tied someone to a train track yeah. and let the train run them over. I love that. There was an achievement in the game if you tied a woman to the train track and ran yeah. over and the achievement was called Dastardly. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was brilliant. Like, that yeah. was just so, yeah. so good. I mean, for notes, because obviously we're writing notes because we're professionals. I mean, come on. You yeah. know that. Like, I wrote, I was a cowboy. And then underneath <laughs> it, I wrote, 
I was a cowboy. <laughs> that's, that's why this is one of my favourite games. I yeah. mean, there's an open world. It's funny. The multiplayer is amazing as there's, well. Like, when you first start yeah. the multiplayer, like in the game, obviously, anytime you're on a horse, you just whistle and your horse comes to yeah. you. But in the multiplayer, because there's like a level and up system, you start with a donkey. <laughs> donkey. And I just yeah. remember the very first day online, and it was like me and eight other people who I worked with. Yeah. And like and and friends as well. And there was just eight of us on donkeys. And there was like one other guy, <laughs> and like, and he must have been in a farm near it. And we we're like, let's just follow this guy. Yeah. And we had like hours of fun, just like following like, a boy riding eight, a donkey. Eight of us on a donkey, just following one guy. And like every time he stopped and like looked at us, we would just all stop. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, like and I know we got annoyed and started shooting at us, but it was just like yeah. Just, just why are these guys? Why are these guys on asses brilliant. following us? Yeah. What? Like, brilliant. That's, on a donkey. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure if you got other higher level as well, instead of a horse, you got like a bull. I think that's uh, that rings yeah. a bell. Yeah, I mean, I I don't think I got. I think the I level think cap it, was a hundred. It's literally, it's literally um, a travesty that that game is not backwards compatible on Xbox yeah. One because that game is still brilliant. Yeah, I'd I mean play the that DLC. Today. I mean, you've got to mention the DLC. Oh yeah, of course. Undead I mean, that Nightmare. was my next Undead Nightmare. I mean, I thought when it came out, like when when the trailer came out, I thought, well, it's just going to be one of those terrible cash ins, and you're just yeah. going to shoot zombies and set up people. But it was a, it was from the ground up it was a, it was like a new new game yeah. i mean you you ran out of ammo dead you know, it quick changed the dynamic really well yeah. didn't it yeah because it did. of that like you say you, you had limited ammo yeah and then you had to like rescue towns you had to help towns to get more ammo and in return for that rescue in the town you'd get some more ammo and maybe yeah. a new gun and again the story was great i mean yeah. like your wife and your son got turned into zombies yeah. and and you had to find a cure for that to bring them back yeah. and i mean that's that's why i loved the game because the story was so good you cared about bonnie his yeah. wife even though you barely saw them yeah. you, you cared about them you cared about the drunk uncle who yeah. was hilarious and because you wanted this guy to do well and I mean, that's how good the story was. I yeah. was devastated when John Morrison was, died, yeah. and because I mean, that's the thing. It was called Red Dead Redemption because it, the redemption was, you know, you were a bad person. Yeah. So you were just going to do these last couple of like, you know, kill some bad people. Yeah. In the hope of getting redeeming yourself, life, redeeming yeah. yourself, and like becoming you know, a farmer, and then you could just go back and be the father that you wanted to be. Yeah, exactly. Like a good husband, and you just yeah. didn't get that. To point. to Jack Marston, yeah. Brutal. Like I say, it, it was very poignant and a sad yeah, moment. You know, it like, was. It, it really was, and I mean, it it it's still. I, I mean, I can't even remember when that game came out. Two thousand and ten, maybe eleven. I mean, it, it might be even before then, and that's it's stuck in my head. I mean, I haven't played it in a good few years, but I know for a fine fact that if it came to backwards compatible, I'd be playing it straight away. Right yeah, now. I'd be online right now yeah. because it was such a fantastic game, and so was the Undead Nightmare. Undead Nightmare, like you say, I mean, the only thing I think they missed with Undead Nightmare is for online because online they just did a kind of horde really wave rubbish, mode. Horde wave yeah, mode, where I think they could have really because the open world was already there and like you say the single player was this open vast world with zombies yeah i don't know why they didn't do that for the multiplayer yeah like the single they missed player. the trick there but the the main the main stories multiplayer was just open world it was so i yeah. do think they missed a the trick there definitely yeah but other than that i mean it's, well, it's, it's the zombies favorite. were awesome you had to headshot them um the, yeah even though i'm not a fan of different types of zombies i prefer just straight up zombies same but there same. was other types of zombies yeah there was yeah. i didn't mind them on that game i thought they no were no good. and i mean you got um it wasn't just zombies. There was a unicorn in that game. There was yeah. Bigfoot. Uh, there was I mean, Bigfoot. Yeah, yeah, which was Because, I mean, that brilliant. was like a running joke with Rockstar because I think it was in San Andreas. There yeah. was loads of rumours where people were saying, ah, oh, I found Bigfoot in the forest. And yeah, taking which these, was Taking ridiculous. really rubbish pictures yeah. back when phones could only, like, capture one <laughs> megapixel at a time and yeah. stuff like that. Which conveniently they use now for when they find aliens, spaceships. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've all got iPhones. Yeah, and... everyone's using a Nokia. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't even have a camera. Yeah, I just threw it in the general direction. Yeah, that's true. But, but yeah, um, yeah it, had, it actually had the, the Yetis in, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, like you a killed talk. them all. Yeah, and except you, one. It was the last game, and you had the choice. You could kill him or not. I didn't kill him because I, I felt sorry him. for him. Did you? You're a bastard. Nah, no. <laughs> I killed him. Well, he's got no family left. He's no one will miss he's him. He's literally sitting crying, and you're like, you like, you can choose to leave him or not. And yeah. Like the, I'm, on my second playthrough, I definitely killed him. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I only played through the story once, yeah. so I left him alive. So he's he's, he's out there now, but yeah, alone, that, that, that sad. It like is. You say the last though, the last um. Just the fun happening with that. Like, yeah. <laughs> last one, someone, if you're like running past them on your horse, so you just drag them with Yeah, you. and the hat comes off and flies away in the wind yeah. and, and stuff just like, like that. I just like that, the bounty missions. So, like, it, it's, you've got that whole 
classic wanted dead or alive you can literally kill the person yeah and you'll get paid but you'll not get paid as much or yeah. you can kill all these subordinates yeah and then hog lasso tie them, hog tie them. Them. stick you them can, on the back you literally carry them put them on yeah. your horse and then take them back in like strut back into town like the yeah badass. like the badass we were yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> nothing like it yeah and again you get to be a cowboy and there's zombies in it so that's why it's my number two game. <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> my number two nailed it so my number two is also a rockstar game because, is it Ooh, yeah it's okay. the warriors ah oh, yes um, yeah. Which was for um, the PlayStation Two and uh, the X- original Xbox. Xbox. Yeah, it was. Um, yeah. I'm a huge fan of the film The Warriors, um, because obviously that's based that on film. the film uh, from 1979, which is about gangs in New York. Um, but it's kind of like they're really camp because it was in yeah. the 70s, and it's like <laughs> they're kind of cheesy. But Rockstar made it really visceral and brutal. Yeah, they did. Yeah. I mean, the film doesn't have much like it's it's a fight, even though there's fighting in it. It's like quite tame. Yeah. But the Rockstar game is brutal. Yeah. Like, Obviously, you're a gang, but like, I mean, the this, this, the whole story of the Warriors is that nine delegates of every gang in the city go to this big meeting. Yeah. Um, and the idea is that the the leader of the biggest gang in the city saying, if we all team up, we outnumber the cops ten yeah. to ten to one, something like that. Yeah. We could run this town. Uh-huh. And then some guy sh- from another gang shoots this guy in the middle of his speech, mm-hmm. and he blames the Warriors. Yeah. And now the Warriors are like nine stops away from home and, and that's, have to try. that's that's the premise the of the premise game, of the movie yeah. is them and uh, the home. movie yeah um so what i love about the game is the game actually builds up how they became the warriors yeah and then you also get the, the whole movie yeah. as well yeah so they added more to it they, they <laughs> added backstory that wasn't there but they yeah made it, it, they made they kept it really within that world and made it believable and it was playable as hell like you say it was a third person beam up game but it was like open world beam up like it wasn't like one-on-one fight it was like there was like a huge brawl. There was like, yeah. like you say, there was like nine of you all fighting uh-huh. at once. It was crazy. The like, only the only thing that I can remember from that game is was a King of the Hill mode. King that, of the Hill mode that's was insane. Literally the only thing. Like my mind has gone totally blank. I know yeah. I've played it, yeah. uh, but I cannot remember anything other than King of the Hill. King so. of the Hill mode, you were like literally on top of buildings, and you literally, obviously, had to hold the top of the building, but you could literally throw people off the building to their yeah. death. It was amazing. But so it was the game so brutal. Like I mean, literally, you can go up to someone, obviously. You beat them up and you know there's like your normal like mounting and punching and everything like that yeah and what i like is it was one of the first games where like if you took damage it's like you got punched a few times you had like a black eye or a cut on your lip uh-huh. in the next cutscene you had that damage on, oh, your, right. on your model cool. oh, that's which cool, man. they hadn't done they hadn't done before which yeah was, which was amazing but it was also horribly violent like to the point where you could literally walk up to someone smash their face off a wall i mean i don't mean like you know cutesy like yeah bang <laughs> i mean literally slam their face off a wall yeah get a bottle you could smash it off them and stab them it was it was right. brutal but well, it was like but it was why awesome can't i remember same. this plus you could play it split screen as well right which was incredible because I, like, I remember like you say there wasn't many great split screen games and yeah i remember like that, that you could play king of the hill split screen as well which it was just amazing it was it was a full package the multiplayer was totally not necessary but it wasn't tacked on right okay like it was a great strong multiplayer that right. was really playable but you didn't have to do it you could also create your own gangs as well could so you? you could I can't use, remember any use, of this. You could use characters from any of the like ten gangs in the game. Yeah. And build and, up your build own up little your own menagerie little... and give them right. their own name and. Oh, that's cool, it was, man! It was such a good game, and like, like you say, so being such a huge fan of um, like you say, the film when I heard it was coming out and I heard Rockstar, the creators of GTA, were making this. Yeah. It was like. Make yeah. Oh my god! Like, you know what I mean? It. And but, it literally lived up to every expectation. Yeah. Like, I don't have a bad thing to say about that game. Yeah. Like, don't get us wrong. It wasn't perfect. No. Well, no game but is. No game I mean. is. But honestly, for me, it was it was the best representation. I mean, they did do another Warriors game. Another. It wasn't Rockstar. Another Warriors game did come out, but it was awful. Was it, it right? Was to do with, I think it was like twenty years since the Warriors came out. So they did like an anniversary, and it was an Xbox Live Arcade game. Right. And that was a side scrolling beat 'em up, and it was crap. Right. Which is ironic because in the main game, when he completed it, there was a side scrolling beat 'em up inside that game. Oh, right. Which okay. basically at your base you could go to an arcade and play it and it was called Armies of the Night. Right. And it was like, you know, your classic side scroll, but it wasn't eight bit, it was with the in game graphics. And even that itself was brilliant. Like that yeah. was that was good enough to probably be a standalone game. Christ. Ah uh, well that, that like sounds it's, in it's depth. It's just an amazing game. Yeah. Like, that, that that's why that is easily yeah. one of my all time favourites. I mean, what's your um, third and final choice? My third and final choice is, and now this is my favourite zombie game, is State of Decay, Year yeah. One Survival Edition and the original. I mean, it's not a perfect game, which, like you said, none of the games are. I've been playing it a lot recently, and it is buggy as hell, but yeah. it, hasn't, it hasn't hindered my enjoyment no, at all. No, not at all. I mean, my, my top reasons why I love this game so much is because of 
obviously to me it's the setting and the music like yeah. when the music starts and it i, I mean it I, you know, I like to make films. If I could get one soundtrack from anywhere, it would be the music from this game to, right. to, to put into a film because it's it's just lovely. I mean, there's, there's a lot of l- lot of sad songs in it, um, yeah. like when people died, and it's just done so well. Um, I mean, obviously, it's zombies. Yeah. But for, for me, the biggest thing is my imagination. I use my imagination in that game, and I know I'm a 30-year-old bloke nearly, but oh, I'll yeah, board... <laughs> <laughs> Shh, don't tell anyone. It's a good thing no one listens, yeah. isn't it? So, no, this isn't recording, right? Yeah, no, no, not at all. Um, but I would, I mean, obviously you're forced to, to work alongside people and do jobs for people and stuff like that. And that, that is great. Yeah. But to me, I would board up a little house. Mm-hmm. Um, just, you know, you press Y to board up the, the yeah, house. Yeah. And I would, that was my house. And I would scavenge and I would, yeah. I'd get food and I'd go back to it. And I would just use my I mean, imagination. That's, that's, I mean, that's, it's the scope of that game, isn't it? It's yeah. Like, it's, it's a true zombie survival game. It's yeah. just a shame it's not co-op. <laughs> yeah. That's, but again, that's the that, only issue. That, weirdly, that's it's like it's only... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and building like going from different buildings and i, I mean love that. i love that you could like you say you could move your home base but you could scope out yeah yeah you could you go there and be like oh this one is but do i have enough supplies to yeah set up here? I mean, yeah and that that's another thing i mean sc- scouting for supplies what, what did you use as your big home base did you use one of the houses or did you use the big um uh, i used the, the big the, industrial factory there's a there was a fairground um oh, man, a, the very the yeah you can use the fairground do you not know no yeah, you can. Yeah, you can use the fairground at the very far of the map. Yeah. Like, I always wanted to go for that. I mean, I used the Kirkman residence. Ha, <laughs> nod to zombies. Yeah. Um, obviously, every residence was yeah. a nod. Like, the Everything Sabini was, residence. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah um, the, I used that. It's like, there's a fairground in the very far corner uh, of the map. And yeah. it, was, it was, like, was the stadium is what you use. But the yeah. fairgrounds were right next to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and I, I used that a lot because it was, had the biggest space. I mean, obviously, it takes the more resources and stuff like that. But I didn't mind getting them because I knew that it yeah. was a really well defended base. Um, yeah. And, like, the outposts you could get. You could r- ransack a house and make it a... a, a an outpost. an outpost so when like a horde of zombies come which they do a lot yeah um you, you could blow them up and uh, it again how much fun i had in that game wasn't in the story while the story was excellent i did yeah. enjoy it it was my imagination well, I mean, of what, what, was, what i was could the do mode called, which was just endless survival was a breakdown um, breakdown yeah, yeah. Like I, breakdown. I play that yeah all the time like i think i'm only on level three or four and I was I was playing it um yesterday actually uh, there's a video of us um, being ripped apart by zombies and it took <laughs> us by surprise yeah because obviously I thought well I'm a bit of a master at this game now I'm not going to lose the people I love so yeah. I used one of the army guys um and I crashed the car because there was like a little dip but I didn't yeah. see it and it went over yeah and obviously when the car explodes it load of zombies come running in yeah, don't they yeah. and there was like a big guy in there one of the the runners oh, and I yeah. just, I just got ripped apart and I was devastated. <laughs> But again, that's that's why I love it because it's there's a bit of realism in yeah, it. Yeah, I like that though. That I mean, that's one of the unique features of the game is the permadeath. So yeah, once you've killed a character, you can't play as that character. No, you again. can't. Like, no. you can. You're playing this multiple characters at once. I mean, like, well, not at once, but like you can switch between yeah, them at any time. You can, yeah. Um, but I like that. Like you say, once that character is gone, that's it. Yeah, it, it is. It's quite shocking because the thing is, is, is like RPG style, you kind of level up those characters. So. Yeah. The longer you've had a character, the stronger they are, the better like, yeah. they are. Like, yeah. All that stuff, so they can run faster. Like, they're, yeah. they're, they're, I mean, they're more accurate. And then if you lose one, you're like, oh, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got to all that work, some, yeah. Some well, noob up now. Well, I had Marcus, um, and I really yeah. loved he's using... He's like starting guy. Yeah, he's the starting guy, and I really loved using him. Rock. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was using him, and um, he died. Yeah. But, for some weird reason, it must have been a bug or a glitch, I changed to a woman, but she still had Marcus's voice, so I was like, oh, well, that's all right then. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, it was a bug that yeah. got patched eventually, yeah. but you did, I switched to a woman, and she was like, hey, how you doing? Oh, let's go and save some people. I was like, this is Marcus, what? Marcus has possessed this young lady? I'm cool with that. <laughs> but yeah, um, I mean, yeah, and there was, there was loads of stuff to do, you could help other survivors or you could just leave yeah. them ignore them and stuff like that um, clean and out infestations so many, so many optional missions yeah there was like, there like, was there's always something to do on that map yeah there was a Wilkerson's the Wilkerson's farm I thought yeah, well yeah. that's going to be like Herschel's farm I'm not sure if you could use that or not because yeah. I never got that far because there was a mission where you could help them yeah and I just didn't because they seemed like dicks I think yeah I did, did that exactly yeah. the same didn't bother I think one of their sons was gay for somebody else like right. and they didn't like that and I oh, hated yeah, they did, yeah. yeah and I hated that I was like you shouldn't judge people you son of a bitch I'm <laughs> not helping you and like there was an achievement which I never got playing it 
So I'm going to have to go back and do that yeah. and grit my teeth and bear I it. I kind of want to go back and do it because one of the guys has got like a sweet moustache and I totally want to build it. Yeah. <laughs> well, in, in um, Breakdown, the more things you do, the more things you accomplish, you unlock more characters. So I'm assuming you'll get yeah. one of the, the, the farm hands or whatever yeah. they are in in that and i mean there was lifeline as well which yeah. was you get to play the, the army which totally changed it because you had a ton of ammo in that one yeah so you could you could sh just kill loads of zombies with headshots yeah whereas in the the main story it was just you know you had to pick your shots you had to be careful but with yeah. this you, you could go out with a ton of ammo and like three shotguns you know what i mean <laughs> so which is cool but for me the, the reason i love the game is and it sounds strange because it's obviously it's a game, but it's just the music. Like yeah. I love the music when it starts, and it takes a little while to load up. The music it plays at the start, like it gives me goosebumps. That that's yeah. how much I love that game. I mean, I enjoy the moments where like it feels like I'm genuinely in a zombie apocalypse. Cause like yeah, when I was like playing the other day, I think I think I was talking to you at the time I was playing. I was just like, oh, I've just found a supermarket. Yeah. I've got, oh, I've got to go in and like, yeah, yeah, definitely. Have a scout around and like I'm looking for supplies in the supermarket and sneaking about and, like, yeah if there's an odd zombie by itself i'll like go and sneak up behind it and break its neck and, yeah like, yeah like, I, that, that was like it's exciting and then i was like oh well i've got all these supplies but i kind of carry them so like i went and got a car out of the car park and i drove yeah. it around to the fucking yeah. bay around the back of the supermarket and i was like loading this car up and yeah like, i was like this is awesome like this it is this it feels is. like real the worst thing in the world is when you've loaded up the car with multiple supplies and you yeah. crash that car yeah. oh my yeah. God, yeah. and you can't get it back out because obviously it's exploded yeah but yeah i love that i mean going into into like a gun store and feeling like rick from the walking dead you've yeah. got like a silencer on your pistol and you shoot the one zombie that's in the room yeah. in the head and it's just it's you're just like oh my god this is so good yeah i mean obviously it didn't have co-op which it, it doesn't and there's nothing we can do about yeah. it and i would have loved that because i'd love to play that game with you yeah. but you know assuming they're going to do class four yeah which is you know the mmo i mean we'll eventually get to do that yeah. and i mean these guys at state of decay they love the fans and stuff like that yeah and that that's for me why this is my third favorite game is because the amount of work they've put into it the the, the amount you can do and with yeah. it being an indie game there is a, there's I mean, a lot I mean, of replayability like the amount of like you say micromanaging that isn't yeah it? Like, they're just the little things like if you kind of carry too much stuff you can radio back to your home base yeah and, like call out a scavenger to come and get it and it'll send one of the npcs out and they'll come and scavenge yeah. the house did are you aware that there's a bug in the game that's still in the game like i haven't mentioned it to them in case they take it out what you do is is you radio to them uh -huh. come and collect the stuff then you take it uh -huh. and then they still come and get it so you get double the amount of really? supplies yeah oh, so that. you should definitely try that so yeah. i would go down and say there was two like pallets of wood yeah um i would take one pallet put it in the car yeah. then radio for help yeah and then when they say they're on their way take the last pallet yeah. put it in the car and they'd come back with it with, with two pallets as, oh, as, nice. which is wow. quite cool so you get like double the um yeah, like the, the amount of supplies, the, the of supplies. so obviously it's a bug pro tip. yeah <laughs> but that's a pro tip for yeah. for people who want to play the game so yeah buy it even if you've now played it buy it because I mean, it's cheap as hell anyway. yeah well, i mean it's like 13 pounds or something like that yeah i don't I mean, yeah it might be less than that yeah and it's 100 percent worth the play it is it's i mean just, it's just in, in this day and age it's hard to stand out as a single player game i think yeah but I yeah think, i think it is really worthwhile it endeavor. definitely if you, is if you like zombies and if you enjoy if you would like to live the walking dead on get console, this game i would i would recommend this more than the walking dead game you know yeah I mean? oh yeah definitely yeah so what would you see is your third favorite game My third favorite game uh would be battlefield bad company 2 right i talk about it all the time <laughs> I've, I've never played this game so <laughs> this I'm... is my like like i said prior like i've seen my other two games with third person action games probably prior to battlefield bad company 2 i would never have said i was a big fan of first person shooters right okay but this one like changed that for us right and i, I still kind of put my finger on exactly why it mm -hmm. works but it was just everything about it felt good like i didn't feel like i was being punished this much like i feel punished when i play call of g yeah like, i feel like i'm being punished all the time for stuff that is out <laughs> of my control yeah do you know like like if i feel like uh fair enough if it's gone i'm gone and i lose the gunfight i'm fine with that but if it's like i walk around a corner and like a turret kills us or yeah. something like that yeah that bothers my piss yeah where it's like everything everything in battlefield is like manned right so okay. even if you get killed by a vehicle it's somebody in that vehicle yeah they've you know had I mean? to do the way it's they someone, it's someone it in a helicopter or someone in it yeah but it was just like they say the scope of it like say call of duty was it's like these small maps and it's just gun on gun and then loads of shit perks and stuff like that yeah whereas this this was like it, it was huge massive sprawling battles i mean like you say the closing title it's a battlefield game anyone who's played battlefield obviously yeah they know they know, yeah. they know what they're getting but this was like 
it's still for me, it's better than Battlefield three and four. Right. What what makes it different? Because obviously I've never played it. Some something about I don't know why something about the graphics, even still because I played it recently as well. Like they're not like as photorealistic. It's like three and four. Right. Okay. But but like they just look better. It looks more natural. The hit markers for like when you're shooting are just more on point. Like I right. don't I don't feel like I'm being screwed out with shots. Like you know like when you're a hundred percent on target. Mm-hmm. Like, and so you know when you're hundred percent on target. Sometimes like obviously sometimes people say you don't always know. But like if some guy is literally like a, a sniper is sat in place and you're twenty yards away from him, and he's not even looking at you and you're shooting him, if if it's not hitting, you're not getting the hit markers, then you know something's going on. Whereas like right. that never seemed to happen to me on this game. Like I always seemed to hit the shots I felt I deserved. Right. Oh well, and, that's like, cool. I I love I love the difference in classes, the way you could play the game. Like you could play as a medic, for example, and with a medic you would have um, a med kit which you could throw out, which would heal yourself. Or any nearby players, so you could heal your teammates. Yeah. Also, you had the fibrillator, so if someone was killed, you could pick them up. Right. Which was great because it, it made sense in the game modes because certain game modes, and um, both teams would have a certain amount of lives. So if you pick them up, it wouldn't lose the ticket. You wouldn't lose that life. Right. Okay. Um. So it could really turn the tide of battle, and you could be top of the game without even having the most kills. Right, which was like unheard of, which like is, helping your teammates yeah, out, which, which is what I love. You know what I mean? Like, like Call of Duty, like whoever. If you've got one player who's amazing, your team must probably still win, just uh-huh. because you've got that one amazing player. Right, okay. Whereas like you could have like three amazing players and still lose. Yeah, because on, you on could have like three people who are like twenty-one kills and two deaths, but they haven't done the objective. They haven't like on oh, any right, of okay. the bombs or yeah. whatever. Like, yeah, and then it. lost the game mode. Yeah, but it's just like say the sheer scope of it. Like, there's nothing quite like you and a friend rolling down a tank so he's driving the tank and you're on the gunner and like some guy's shooting and you're cutting them down and right oh that's it's just cool. like like and like or like flying a helicopter in and like saying oh flies over this point and i'll parachute in yeah on the bomb and you right. you provide air support and things like that it was just like oh sweet just there was nothing really like it plus there wasn't a huge amount of guns there was there was a lot but like compared to say like say call of g yeah was, it wasn't crazy and there wasn't like all these camos or anything and I don't know what it was, but the, the guns felt like they had more personality. Like, yeah. I felt like I knew the guns like, yeah, more personally. Yeah, because they weren't you know I mean? because ridiculous, there was, yeah. like, new Call of Duty You know what I mean? Like, stuff. there was, like, you know, like, maybe four four assault rifles and four shotguns. Right. Not, like, 12 of each. Yeah. Where there was, like, incremental differences. It was yeah. kind of, like, you knew which gun had the higher fire rate and which one had the mm-hmm. higher damage and which one to use. And right. It was great, and it was, like, it was like this game of chess where you knew which characters to use and... To counter certain, yeah, to certain, certain, that character. You know what I mean? Like stuff. obviously, if you were oh, getting pinned cool. down by tanks a lot, yeah. you'd be an engineer, and the engineer would have anti-tank like rocket launchers and things like that. Right. And, I mean, there was Sweet achievements man. where like like um obviously certain rocket launchers could lock onto stuff, but there was one that you would just have to aim, and there was like an achievement for like taking down a helicopter with it, and that was one of the most thrilling moments of like you know what <laughs> I mean? Like landing yeah. a shot on a moving helicopter, like right. it's just nothing like it. You know what I mean? Yeah, honestly. That you won't get in any Call of Duty game and. You still get that in Battlefield games now, but I don't know, just something just felt more. Yeah, is, Plus, is, there is a, a campaign mode as well, because that's why it's called Bad Company. Because uh, uh, so, it, that it's a funny campaign or something. Yeah, it's, well, it's quite it's, it's quite a funny yeah, it's game. A, it's, it's like it's not hilarious. Ha-ha. Yeah, it's just like kind of dark humor, you know, like black comedy, I suppose. Yeah. Um, but it's like you call Bad Company because you 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 squad B company and you're basically like you like the Expendables before that even was a concept. It's yeah. Like, you this the you this squad of like four dudes who they, they don't give a, the army doesn't give a fuck about and right okay stick in the worst situation yeah thinking, you know it, they'll probably die but it mm-hmm. doesn't matter but you still come out you know right okay oh, and, sweet. and it's just like all the characters like they have genuine personality and it's one of the few actual campaigns that are worth playing in in terms of shooters because of that reason right like say, so it's not two hours long then three, <laughs> battlefield three battlefield four and probably the last six Call of Duty. <laughs> like the campaigns have just been like oh. Yeah, man. And Michael Bay born. Yeah, with a knife or a gunshot at the yeah. end. <laughs> well, like it just it felt like personality, and the, like when we're talking about DLC, the DLC for this was um Vietnam, and it totally changed the game like entirely. Like it was four new maps, but everything was different. Your characters looked different. It was all different guns because it was Vietnam era. There was like there was no like red dot sights or anything like that. Right, it was all, of course. Like, iron yeah. Sights and, yeah. You know what I mean? Hard scoping on your guns, and it was just like the sniping was amazing as well. Like it had like. Not perfect real world physics, but rather than like, like uh, I think it's called you use hit scan where literally a bullet goes exactly where the crosshair is. Right. Whereas this had bullet drop, so like, yeah, of course, yeah. Like, over distance, you might have to lift your crosshair a little bit up or a little bit up into the right to actually yeah. get a headshot. But then when you did like it, it was hard to learn at first. 
But then after a few hours, once you start getting headshots, like they felt ten times more satisfying. Right. Yeah. Of course. Than yeah. the normal headshot. Like headshots always feel <laughs> right. satisfying because you know. Yeah. You someone might be moving and you've you've still managed to aim at the head and hit them. Yeah. But it's just it's like you know what I mean. It's not like you're not really gonna quick scope loads on battlefield. No. Like there will be someone out there who can do it. Yeah. The average gamer isn't, whereas the average gamer can quick scope on COD. You know yeah. I mean? Unfortunately. And yeah. it's just yeah, there just hasn't been a it's, game like it. Yeah. I just, I, I, it's another game where it's just like make it backwards compatible so I can still play it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? That's pretty much it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that, that, that's what lot, really. Yeah, it is. Those yeah. are our favourite games. The it ones is. that we're very passionate about. And, uh, the top three. Yes. <laughs> the top three, the yeah. top three. Yeah, obviously we've both got a zombie game in there because, we'll you know, we love zombies. zombies. Yeah. Uh, but, to be yeah. fair, I had, I had to refrain from just putting all zombies in. Yeah. <laughs> and we did discuss that. We're like, yeah, let's, yeah. let's, let's not do Let's make many. it 10 favourite games. Let's make it 20 all zombies. <laughs> yeah. We've yeah. already done a zombie episode. You know? well, we'll kind of do another one so closely. Yeah, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll save it for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, or a day, yeah. So, so yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks for listening. And um, Togaholics will not be captured on. It will. It if... Will. if if you listen to this, leave a comment below saying we we are Tuggerholics. Just just do it. Just to yeah, prove Ben wrong, man. And just, just and just yeah, remember, please do subscribe, like, comment, tell what your favourite games are. Yeah, man. Tell you what you think do of it. our favourite games. Tell you if, if you think we're horribly wrong. Yeah. But not me, just Paul. Obviously. Yeah, just obviously because Ben would crumble down and cry. Yeah. And he hasn't mentioned he's got a beard in this episode, so we'll, we'll I mention it. Oh, well, have yeah. done me. You have. <laughs> <laughs> you so have. <laughs> but thanks for listening, and, and remember. remember that, yeah, GG doesn't stand for good game. It, it stands, stands for, for get good. good. Bring it!